Hi Sagittarius, this is Mary Shea, my channel Saloka. Let's see, what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now? Sagittarians out there, someone on rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Sagittarians out there. Your first card is the Knight of Swords. Something which you're waiting on. All right, I'm looking at the seven of pentacles. You put in the work and you're waiting on something. The wait is over. All right, because this is a contrast energy. The Knight of Swords is a fast moving energy. So if you had been waiting for communication, that is coming through. All right, whatever you're waiting on. All right, um, things are going to move. Give me a second. This could be in regards to your abundance, all right? Because I'm looking at the Ten of Pentacles. It seems like things are going to work out. Hmm? Just going to break the deck and we have a Two of Cups. It could be you had been waiting on someone to reach out to you and that person is going to reach out to you. All right. So if you might be dealing with a Taurus energy, a Gemini energy, a Cancerian energy, a Virgo energy, or probably another Taurus energy. All right. Can we have the next card, please? This is what's coming your way. The Ace of Wands. All right? It could be an opportunity. It could be some kind of a partnership, a commitment, because Two of Cups, partnership. All right? And again, they're showing me the Ten of Pentacles. This has to do with the wheel is turning. It's, it's pretty blunt, all right? The wheel is finally turning in your favor. Things are finally moving forward, okay? The wait is over. Hmm? Uh, Ten of Pentacles, this has to do with uh, your future foundation, your stability, your security, okay? Whatever this is, it has potential. Whatever is coming your way, it has potential. If you had been waiting for visa, this could be it. If you had been waiting on, um, let's say, uh, a legal, you know, you, you might have gone through some legal uh, situation, things might be going in your favor. Okay? You're going to hear about it. Yes, this is about the wait is over. You had been waiting on this for quite some time. Can we have the next card, please? Sagittarians out. Can we have the next card, please? Your next card is the Seven of Pentacles. And it seems like while you were waiting, you were feeling, you know, you were put out in the cold. Like, this is, um, if it's an employment situation, some of you might have been struggling financially. If it has been a relationship situation, um, it's, it's like, you know, you're out in the cold. Again, you don't have the support. You, you, you're going through a separation phase. It's not a good place to be in. Okay? But it seems like you're going to come out of it pretty quickly, actually. Things are working out. Keep showing up. Things are working out, uh, working out in your favor. Strong Taurus energy. Can we have the next card, please? For once, again, this has to do with your stability and security. Okay? Uh, it might be surrounding. Mm, a house for some of you. Give me a second. If some of you were single, okay, and you had been waiting for someone to, you know, come into your life, that is about to happen. Because this card for me is a marriage situation as well. All right, people coming together, building a foundation together. Hmm? 
or it could be in regards to your finances as well. Whatever it is, it looks good. Okay? Because finally, you seem to be in charge of your life. Okay? Because I'm looking at the chariot and then we have the six of wands. This card speaks about victory and success. Okay? Chariot, your life is back on track. You're sitting behind the wheel. You are in control of your life right now. Okay? There is this sense of moving forward with both these cards. This person is on the horse. Uh, this person is on the bike. Okay? You are in control. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or probably a Leo energy or an Aries energy. Can we have the next card, please? In the center of the reading is the Seven of Wands. There is something about being fixated. Okay, right? Really, um, I wouldn't say adamant. Like you were standing your ground. This is what you want. This is how it should be. Okay? Because Seven of Wands, right? Um, Let's say if this is regards to a relationship situation, if you were single for a very long time, you might have been blocking away prospects. Okay? Seven of Wands, this person is holding a wand against her chest. She's closed off. All right? There are six suitors who's wanting to, you know, approach her, get into a space, but she's not willing. She's pushing them away because it doesn't suit her, all right? And then we have the Ace of Wands. So it seems like she had been waiting for something which matches with her frequency, all right? Because I can see the lover's energy, all right? Um, it, it's like she's standing a ground in regards to what she wants, because again, five wands, Okay, I did not think this was the five ones. At least I did not think about the card. Uh, so it makes sense, all right? Uh, when I picked up the energy on the suitors, hmm? it seems like there was plenty of uh, options, okay? People who were interested. Hmm? But you waited on what you wanted, okay? It could be regards to a job situation as well. There are plenty of opportunities out there, but it doesn't suit your needs. So you're blocking them away. You know, you're not interested in taking it up. Even if they say, uh, work for me, you're like, no, thank you. It doesn't work for me. You know, that kind of um, energy. Because this lovers doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. It could be a partnership, contract, you know, people coming together, all that. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy or probably a Leo energy. You have been waiting for this, again, Seven of Pentacles as well. All right, you have been waiting for the right thing to come into your life. That's why I said, probably October. Okay, something is going to come your way, which is going to be solid, which is going to be real good, you know, it's, it's good enough, it's worth it. Okay, it, it's almost like you'll fall for this. Okay, you'll take it up, you'll go with it. And I see you, uh, some of you might be getting married, uh, married, all right, it could be a proposal, okay. Um, it could be an opportunity which has a lot of potential and I keep seeing you had been waiting on this to come through all right can we have the next card please Sagittarians out there can we have the next card please look at the chariot as your last card you finally 
back and back. We're repeating the same uh, energy again, all right? You are in charge of your life. You are ready to go. Yeah? That kind of energy, okay? We started off with the Knight of Swords, fast-moving energy, okay? When this comes through, you're finally able to bring your life back on track. All right. Press three of pentacles. This could be a work situation. Okay, things working out. And this has to do with your um, financial situation leveling up. Okay, it's, 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 it's for the better. Because I see abundance within the reading as well. I'm done with you, Ricky. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or probably a Capricorn energy. I'm just going to break the deck. I'm done with the reading, so. This one. Hangman. Just like I said, you had been waiting. All right? I might, it might seem like I'm repeating the same thing. But that's what I see in the cards, all right? Seven of Pentacles waiting, okay? In the traditional deck, this is a farmer who is waiting for, uh, you know, he's seeded the plants, he's watered it, and he's waiting for the fruits. So same energy, okay? Waiting for something to come through, okay? Hangman, this is a person doing nothing, just, you know, and get get this energy from this card right now. This person has been visualizing what he wants, even though he's not doing much. He is, you know, it's it's there in his head. This is what I want. I just need to hang in there, wait a little longer until this comes through. That kind of energy. I see you winning. All right. The card slipped out, and they want me to look at the last card as well. Uh, Six of Wands. I see you winning. All right, for me, um, this card is about marriage as well. All right, so whatever your situation, for each of you, it could be different. It looks beautiful. All right, <laughs> they wanted they wanted to speak. All right, that's what. Do you have cups? This is a marriage situation, so that makes sense why it slipped out. Um, yeah, people coming together. Some of you are going to find your partner which is a good thing, all right? Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer energy, strong Cancer energy. Nine of Pentacles. Behind the Six of Wands is a Nine of Pentacles. Again, uh, that speaks about leveling up. You can see this person, single lady. Uh, she has all these coins around her. She's good by herself. Then I see you teaming up with another person, all right? You are leveling up. You are coming on the top. Some of you might be dealing with a black energy. That's it for now. This is Marishi. Much help to look at and like say. Bye bye. I wish you the very best. Bye.